if every single day that you wake up, you are more confused than the day before about the state of this world, this is single-handedly the most important thing that you are going to need to understand if we are going to make it out of this time. What we are all collectively witnessing right now, the spell that has befallen the entire world, this is Soviet propaganda. Now I'm going to explain to you where this comes from. This Soviet propaganda is from the marriage of convenience between the atheist radical left and the ultra-religious radical right. The Marxists and the Islamists, okay? The Marxists and the Islamists have joined forces in a covert union to bring about the destruction of the West. And I'm going to explain how and why. So after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the Trotskyites were disseminating this propaganda worldwide to globalize their Soviet revolution. Now, in order to achieve the destruction of the West, the destruction of capitalism, they needed to align with a reactionary force. So they aligned with the Islamists. They saw the Islamists as the reactionary force capable of destroying the West, right? Now, what was required to make this alliance successful is that both sides were going to have to make quick concessions and trade-offs, right? For the part of the Marxist left, they traded off our individual rights. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Our individual rights, our freedom of speech, our freedom of religion, women's rights, anti-discrimination, all of that traded to the Islamists in exchange for that reactionary force that would bring down capitalism in the West. For the Islamist part, they would have to pretend to care about all those things to sell it to the left, to export that to the left. They would have to pretend to care about anti-racism, anti-imperialism, women's rights. Do you see now why the Islamists, the most racist, anti-women, imperialist force in the entire world, is posturing as the opposite of those things? But here's what's happening now. That marriage of convenience started in America as the fringe left. It didn't just start overnight. This has been here for a long time. It was the fringe. Over time, through radicalization and through propaganda, that fringe left has become the main left. And that is why so many of us who woke up, many people woke up after October 7th, right? They've been pushed out of the left because they don't identify with this Soviet propaganda, which they don't understand what it is. Nobody knows what it is, but they just know this. These are not the leftist values that we grew up on, right? So it's not us that's changed. It's the fringe that has expanded into the left. But the cracks have now started to show, and these are the things that nobody can make sense of. If these people are pro-women's rights, why are they raping women? If these people are anti-racists, why do they say they want to kill the Jews? If these people are anti-imperialists, why do they seek ultra-nationalist goals of taking over not just this land, but the entire region to secure another caliphate? That is imperialism. This is why you have never seen leftists that have been indoctrinated by this Soviet propaganda work harder in your life to defend rape, to defend sexual assault. Have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen that in your life? Leftists, women's rights advocates and champions defending rape. How do we know it happened? Because you saw the naked bodies being dragged through the streets. You saw the blood. That's not enough for you to understand what's happening. That's indoctrination, where you can see things with your own eyes and not believe what you saw with your eyes, but believe the propaganda that was sold to you. That is called indoctrination. Now on the Marxist left side, the cracks that you're seeing is that their whole cell was, we are against oppressors and pro the oppressed. We don't believe in all of this class stuff. Well, hang on a minute you seem to be supporting the Islamists and they are the biggest classists in the world. They are the biggest oppressors in the world. And that's why you have never seen the Marxist radical lefts work so hard to convince you that these are not the oppressors, they're the oppressed. And it defies everything that you see with your own eyes. But wait a minute, 
what about in Iran? We see what they're doing. No, no, no. They're, they're oppressed. They're fighting Western imperialism. Yep, they're, they're oppressed by Western imperialism. Which Western imperialism is happening in Iran? I mean, it, it, it would be happening if, if they weren't there. So that's why they need to, because they're oppressed by Western imperialism. You've been duped. Soviet propaganda has never, never been more successful. And I can tell you how this ends. I can tell you how this ends because there is one example. There is one example in contemporary history where this marriage of convenience between the Marxist left and the Islamist right has been successful. And that time was 1979. 1979 in Iran, the left communist Tudeh party aligned with the Khomeinists, okay, to bring about the revolution that brought in the Islamic Republic. That is how this ends. I need you to wake up yesterday. I need you to pay attention to those feelings in your gut where you justify rape, where you deny that rape happened, when you say anti-Semitism is okay, despite the fact that you've been doing anti-racism work your whole life, the, despite the fact that you've been doing pro-women's rights work your whole life, that all of a sudden your narrative has switched, you've done a total about face because the radical left that has bled out, the fringe left that has bled out into the entire left has convinced you that this is the correct narrative, even though it defies everything in your being, even though you wish you could speak out, but you can't because you'll be attacked and ostracized by the left. It is time to take a step that is bigger than you and bigger than us and recognize that if we don't all turn around now, it ends in 1979 in Iran. This is not an authentic state of being. This is Soviet propaganda and that is why nothing, nothing about this world makes sense right now, not even to you who fell for it.